Well, flowers are a big part of many weddings, but one bride tells News 6 a local florist ripped her off. Yeah, she says she paid hundreds of dollars for her wedding flowers, but the shop is now closed and she cannot get her cash back. News 6 investigative reporter Erica Washington is getting answers tonight. She joins us now from outside the flower shop in Winter Park. And Erica, this is a nightmare. You just left the owner's home. Were you able to get a chance to talk to him? Ginger, we did leave the owner's home a little while ago. We just left. Unfortunately, no one answered the door. That owner is Jonathan Brown. And when I spoke to the bride to be, she says she's not surprised. She says that she's been trying to reach out to him and he has not responded to emails, text, phone calls, nor is anyone answering his business door. I feel like cheated on almost like how can they do that to me? And bride to be Stephanie Ganeo received this email Friday from Jonathan's Flowers, stating the business is filing corporate bankruptcy and no prior or future orders will be filled and no refunds. What did you think when you saw that? I thought it was a joke. I thought it was spam. Um, and I immediately replied to it because that was his business email. In June, Stephanie signed a detailed contract and paid in full $433 for her wedding flowers. I showed my fiance and I was like, I don't know what to do. And then it wasn't even about like, oh my gosh, we don't have flowers. It was, oh my gosh, I'm this much money out. We went to Jonathan's Flowers in Winter Park hoping to get results. No one answered the door or our phone calls. And when we looked inside, the store was cleaned out. The shelves were empty and furniture was gone. We checked and Stephanie is not alone. Customer after customer shared their story on review websites, explaining how they too were ripped off. Many say they paid a deposit and want their money back. Stephanie says there were no signs business was bad when she was there last month. Someone was asking me, like, did you go there? And I was like, yeah, I think it was my sister who asked me. He said it was a fully functioning florist. People were coming and going. He had another couple that was waiting there as well. Stephanie and her fiance's wedding is in February, so they do have time to find a new florist. But she has a message for the owner, Jonathan. I would tell him I'm, I'm really disappointed. And Stephanie is not the only bride disappointed. There are many other ones, like I mentioned in the email, uh, in the website list. You can see there's so many brides that say that they also uh, have been ripped off, if you will. Now, I do want to tell you that we did do some digging, and we found that Jonathan has, we checked with state records, and Jonathan actually has owned florist businesses since 2004 in various locations here in Orlando. Uh, however, this is the first time, according to reviews, that we can see that he has shut down business and not reimbursed customers. Ginger? You just feel for those brides, though, Erica. Thank you for that live yeah. report. Yeah.